Welcome! Seasonal affective disorder manifests as a condition in which depression is frequently felt during the fall and winter months, and then subsides in the spring or summer. In addition to having a sad mood, people often sleep for extended periods in the winter and can have increased appetite. Seasonal affective disorder affects between 1 and 10% of the population, depending on where they live. A person who resides far from the equator, either north or south, can have a higher likelihood of experiencing seasonal affective disorder, as the sun is lower at these latitudes during the winter time. The absence of sunlight may increase the likelihood of seasonal affective disorder manifesting. Our biological clocks change when the amount of sunlight decreases. A person's internal clock controls their hormones, mood, and sleep cycles. The time change disrupts one's routine, and it can be challenging to acclimate to the shift in the length of the day. Chemicals called neurotransmitters are used by nerve cells in the brain to communicate with one another. Happiness is influenced by one of these molecules, serotonin. If one's at risk for seasonal affective disorder, serotonin activity can be decreased. The absence of sunlight throughout the winter may worsen the condition because sunlight affects serotonin. Thus, depression may develop if serotonin levels are low. Vitamin D encourages production of serotonin. Since vitamin D comes from sunlight, a lack of sunlight in the winter might cause a vitamin D deficiency. One's fluctuating serotonin level may then impact how they feel. Melatonin is a hormone that influences one's mood and sleep patterns. Lack of sunlight may cause an increase in melatonin production in some people. Therefore, the winter months can make one feel more tired and lethargic. Seasonal affective disorder is more likely to affect those with bipolar disorder in which they can experience symptoms of mania or depression during a particular season. For instance, spring and summer might trigger symptoms of mania or a milder type of mania called hypomania, as well as agitation, worry, and impatience. When the fall or winter months arrive, these individuals might then become more depressed. Another factor that might increase a person's risk of seasonal affective disorder includes having another mood disorder or mental health condition, such as major depressive disorder, or having a relative who has seasonal affective disorder. Simply getting more exposure to sunlight and spending more time outside can help alleviate symptoms of seasonal affective disorder. For those stuck indoors most of the day and unable to step outside, it may then be helpful to maximize the amount of sunlight entering one's house or office. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, or CBT, can also be beneficial, as it can help address any dysfunctional thoughts or attitudes that may be contributing to one's low mood, regardless of the season. Additionally, engaging in physical exercise has been shown to be effective in improving one's overall mood. Some research has indicated that six weeks of CBT with two 90-minute sessions per week were just as effective as 30 minutes of light therapy every morning. Light therapy, also known as light treatment or phototherapy, is the most widely used treatment for seasonal affective disorder. Intensity, wavelength, exposure time, and timing of exposure over the day are just a few of the variables that come into play with light treatment. Light treatment with a bright light intensity of 10,000 lux for 30 to 45 minutes per session is typical. The most common way to deliver light treatment to someone suffering from seasonal affective disorder is to place a light box in front of them on a desk. The user can carry out any activity while seated in front of the light, including reading or using a computer. Some research has indicated that using light treatment for two weeks was just as effective as using it for five weeks, suggesting its usefulness from a shorter duration. However, other research has critiqued the benefits of light therapy, suggesting it has minimal effectiveness on symptoms related to seasonal affective disorder. Another way of using light treatment is through dawn simulation. This is when a gradual increase of morning light is simulated in the wintertime, mostly from 0 to 300 lux in 30 minutes just prior to waking up. There are some potential side effects to be noted when using light therapy, including mild visual issues, nausea, dizziness, headaches, tired eyes, agitation, sleep disturbances, or very rarely hypomania or mania. So please check with your primary doctor before considering this particular type of treatment. Your doctor will also be able to advise you on any need for medication or vitamin D supplementation to aid in symptom relief for seasonal affective disorder. And just remember that no winter lasts forever, no spring skips its turn. Thanks for watching and see you next time.